the Joe Rogan experience. How did you guys wind up with Beavis and Butthead there? Um, so I had, <clears throat> I was making these animated shorts in my house and uh, just mailing out VHS tapes of them. And uh, there was a show called Liquid Television. Well, I had gotten, I had gotten, um, I made three shorts before Beavis and Butted was the fourth one I'd made, and the first three had gotten like the first one I made was on a show on comedy. It was called the Comedy Channel. Um, uh, night after night with Alan Havy. Um, oh, I remember Alan Havy. Yeah, and so, and then I'd gotten in some animation festivals, and so people were starting. There was a show called Liquid Television on MTV that um, was on Sunday nights, and uh, they would license animated shorts. So. I got, uh, I got like three or four of mine on there. It all happened very quickly. Like I had, they were gonna. They they asked me to send my first three, and I said I have a new one, and it was Beavis and Butthead, and um, and then it so it got on that show, and then there was a long, weird, cryptic negotiation where they said they want to buy it, and I said what for, and <laughs> like, and then. I negotiated with it was Colossal Pictures liquid, did liquid with liquid television and then finally they said it's over oh it was a long ugly thing and then finally MTV came to me directly I still didn't know what they were going to do with it I thought those little station IDs or something mm. and I was elated I was like this is amazing I'm just making these things in my house outside of Dallas and it's going to be on MTV that's amazing and then I sold it I <laughs> I sold the whole thing to him for something like eighteen thousand dollars. <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> the whole property, everything? Yeah, I mean I retained something that you'd never see any money from, but I, I was able to get it back later, years later. But how'd but you do that? Just because they needed me to do it and I just, you know, but but it was yeah, I sold it. Uh but I, this was after months of negotiating and I'm like, well, I it takes me it would. T I was animating everything by myself. It would take me like six to eight weeks to make two minutes, and after two Beavis and Butted shorts, I was kind of out of ideas. Anyway, so I thought like, okay, I'll just this will be my, you know, admission fee to show business. I'll just sell this off just to meet people and and have them know about me and and I, you know, after like I, I went to different lawyers and there like there was a this mob lawyer in Dallas who was just like, don't sign it. I said, well, then I just don't do this. Like, I mean, I don't regret it because I, I think they were ready to walk away. Um, it'd been months, you know, like five or six months, which I guess in show business isn't that long of a negotiation all the time. But yeah, then they and then they flew me up there, and then they started talking about we're going to do sixty-five episodes, and uh, <laughs> I was saying, okay, am I going to be involved? I don't like I did, and they said, of course, it's your baby, and you know. Um, but they didn't say any of that until they already owned it. <laughs> they didn't want to. Maybe it was part of the, you know, the whole Polly Shore of it all and those people that had gotten out of there. But they did. They did. Their lawyer had all the bad intentions of a good lawyer, but she wasn't all that great and didn't know animation. So there were some big uh, holes in the contract that I was able to exploit. exploit yeah, exploit later. <laughs> Yeah, she thought that I was going to be doing the entire, all the animation myself. So there was like a per minute fee that was like a, <laughs> three seasons in. My, I got, my, still my manager, Michael Rotenberg, who's also a lawyer, said, hey, uh, this thing says they owe you a ton of money. <laughs> so yeah, we had, we were able to, I was able to get it back and now I own it like 50-50 with them, so... Oh, okay. That was after the movie, and they wanted a sequel and all that stuff. And, and so this movie that you got coming out, when did this start getting developed? Um, let's see. I had the idea for it a long time ago. It was really about three years ago. And then um, right before the lockdown, because it was Friday the 13th, March 2020, I had lunch with uh, <clears throat> the... Um, Chris McCarthy and uh, Kai's Hill Edgar, the Paramount Plus guys, and and just sealed the deal right then, and then made the entire movie with everyone on Zoom and Evercast. So when you pitch a movie like a Beavis and Butthead movie, 
Are you pitching, uh, are you just saying, look, I want to do a Beavis and Butthead movie? Are you saying this is what happens with Beavis and Butthead? Like, what's the process? Well, with this one, with the sequel, they've been wanting a sequel for years, and I've pitched different, usually... When did you make the first one? First one came out in 96. So it was was like a couple years, was it like... So the show, the short first aired on in 92. The series started in March of 93. So the show had been on a while before the movie came out, like three mm. years. They wanted it sooner. But and when did they stop? When did you stop doing the the television show? Um, fall of '98. <clears throat> oh wow! So, so it was off for a while. 